Nathan Zagura here with the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. The Browns wrap up the preseason Thursday night at home against the Detroit Lions. If you remember, they wrapped up the preseason on a Thursday night one year ago against these same Detroit Lions in a game that I think changed the course of history for this Browns franchise. Because if you remember, that was the game when Freddie Kitchens was given the opportunity to call plays for the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield started. The chemistry between those two was on full display. And without that opportunity, I don't think Freddie Kitchens is named the offensive coordinator in the middle of the season. And without that, I don't think Freddie Kitchens is named the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. So what a wild 12 months. And I guess the lesson here is don't underestimate the importance of the final preseason game. Now this year, I don't think we'll have any stories quite like that, but we have an opportunity, one final opportunity for so many guys fighting to make probably the final five or six roster spots on the Cleveland Browns 53-man roster. Can preseason standouts like running back D. Ernest Johnson, who's been great both running, catching, pass protecting, and returning. And a guy on the defensive side like Devereaux Lawrence, who has three sacks. Can they continue what they've done thus far and cement themselves on the Browns 53? Now at wide receiver, we've seen more change than any position. DJ Montgomery, who played great against Indianapolis, was placed on injured reserve. And Jalen Strong, who had been running with the ones, was released earlier this week. So it's all about opportunity. Last year's sixth round pick, Damian Ratley, will make his preseason debut as he looks to lock up a spot. Then you've got Derek Willis, who was hot early in the offseason, but has kind of fizzled of late. Can he have one last strong performance? And then you've got Ishmael Hyman of the AAF, who's been reliable and steady for this team. And then the wild card at the wide receiver position, the one I think we're all going to watch. Braxton Miller. I think the release of Jalen Strong has cleared a path for Miller, who can contribute to this team as a receiver, can contribute to this team on special teams, maybe even as a returner, and can contribute to this team as a scout team quarterback modeling guys like a Lamar Jackson. I think he has a lot of value. Can he put together that strong performance that cements his spot here with the Cleveland Browns? And finally, the kicker position. Austin Seibert goes four for four last week. Does he get another opportunity, or does it go to the veteran Greg Joseph? Does he get the chance to kick his way onto this Cleveland Browns team? So a lot going on here in this preseason finale. And remember, a lot can change with one game's performance under the bright lights. So for all those Browns out there competing to earn their stripes and make this roster, this is a big one. And then when it's all over, we get to go on to the regular season and the games that count with the home opener against the Titans. But before we do that, let's hear from head coach Freddie Kitchens about the importance of this preseason finale. We're trying to get better tomorrow um, and give these guys the opportunity that are going to play in this game to succeed and put them a plan in place that will uh, enable them to showcase what they can do. For full coverage of this game and everything Cleveland Browns, keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Browns, and every Sunday, set your DVRs for the Emmy Award winning series, Building the Browns, 1130 a.m. on News 5. This has been the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals.